SDS type has to use a special bit which is an SDS drill. The SDS drill can be recognised by the fact that it's not a plane shaft but rather has these indentations in it which A will allow it to slide into the proper grooves and then B to make connection with the ball that holds it in place. Common faults that happen are through use, when it's being used then it will cause damage to the bearing inside, to the ball bearing, it will then no longer hold fully and will become slack. To insert a normal drill of the SDS type, it simply pushes in, turns until it engages. Now at that point it cannot come out. If it does come out, then you have a problem. And what we'll do today is show you how to cure that problem by fitting a new part into the SDS mechanism. Okay, the tools that are required, you need some grease in order to grease and lubricate the outer end of the shaft where the ball bearing will be, small screwdriver to ease off the cap of the unit and a pair of circuit pliers in order to ease the removal and reinsertion of the circlip. Okay, in order to remove the old chuck and fit the new chuck, it's always a good idea to first of all remove the battery, that way no accidents can occur. To remove the chuck mechanism, pull back on the sleeve at the front of the unit, engage a small screwdriver and just ease off the rubber cap. Once the rubber cap is removed, then the outer sleeve can be removed. The rest of the mechanism is then held in by a circlip. You can remove the circlip using a pair of circlip pliers. Okay, in order to remove, just ease up and ease off the circlip. Once the circlip is removed, the ball retainer will remove. It's in two parts. And then the spring removes. Now normally, there should be a ball just in the groove here. This ball, when it's in place, will catch into the indentation on the drill so that once the drill is in place, it cannot be removed unless you pull back on the retaining sleeve. So what we need to do now is fit a new portion with a new ball. This is a, a Bosch kit for fitting on the front. It's a new one. We have a spring, retaining washer, Hold down, rubber cap, washer, and the part that was missing in the original, the ball bearing. Okay, in order to fit the new one, first of all, you should lubricate where the ball bearing and where the drill will enter. At this point, fit the new spring. the washer, curved washer, saucer type shape and at this point pull down and fit the ball bearing. The ball bearing will now sit in there holding these in position. At this point we fit the large washer and then we fit the retaining plastic washer which is grooved The inserted part goes down the way, fits into the groove and slips over the ball bearing. At this point, fit the washer, take the front slide and slide it on, and then at this point we now have to fit the circle. Okay, the circlip is fitted by introducing it to the snout, easing it apart using the circlip pliers. Just ease the circlip into the proper position in the ring groove, then ease the cap over and around the circlip. Turn it until it sits flat. 